East X Nordiques is officially right around the corner with its September 28th release on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation consoles. Today not only are we going to be going over a couple of brand new features that the developers decided to reveal relatively late as we are making our way into the launch of the game but also going over a couple of brand new bosses that have been fully featured in a brand new blog update also you should be able to see that there is a little bit of brand new gameplay i believe it's about 20 or so minutes that we got to see through the latest Tokyo Game Show digital presentation event that Falcom held uh, in, in their Japanese official stream. So not only do we get to see a bunch of brand new gameplay and a couple of brand new features being shown off there, but of course a couple of brand new combat engagements will look relatively good as well. So not only are we going to be checking out a couple of new uh, features, but also those bosses that I mentioned before. First and foremost, one of the things that they spoke about here in their latest presentation was the time attack and boss rush modes. After you clear the main story in East X Nordiques, you'll be able to play a time attack from the title screen. In the time attack, you can fight against each of the boss characters that appear in the main story, as well as challenge boss rush, which lets you fight every boss one after another. So you have two entirely new options with the bosses that we're going to be talking about in just a bit. The time attack, which basically lets you take them on individually, however it is that you want, or the boss rush mode, which lets you fight all of them back to back and see how well you can fare off with each one of them. There's also a new set of accessories with mana seeds skills whenever you are aiming for a faster time. This is all available in the time attack mode. Uh, you can change eight all in card just equipped accessories, the mana seeds, and even the release line and solo mode and combination mode skills prior to each one of the boss engagements. So you'll be able to tailor them however it is that you want. Adol and Karja's performance will change significantly based on the accessories and performance, skill settings, and equipping mana seats on whatever time attack dedicated release line you set to basically dedicate them on. So you can tailor them specifically to whichever bosses it is that you're gonna be facing for a faster time. With the understanding that the better rankings you get, better rewards will become available there. Now, of course, this is not available in boss rush mode, but of course, um, you kind of want to pick a little bit of an overarching kind of like armor set and setup there specifically for that mode. Time attack will let you set them up individually, but of course, boss rush mode will not. Transitioning over to the actual bosses you do get to fight, and I'm going to be trying to overlay some of the images here on the screen right now. You have the strong arm Immortal Beast, Amdobizer, Amdo I believe is what it's properly called. I'm not necessarily sure if there's a pronunciation issue there. This is a ferocious beast type Grieger that appeared in Nobelia Bay. It is crazily attacks and sprays us as huge uh, jaw uh, and develop forearms and whip like tail. Its hard armor forearms have, have defense power, so be careful whenever you are confronting it head on. And it looks kind of like a T-Rex type creature with some armor pieces attached right to it. Alongside that, you also have the brutal strong body EG. This is a giant Grigor who relentlessly pursues Adol and Karja under Yold's command. While it does not seem to possess any intelligence of Yold's or any others, it does possess tremendous strength and can unleash a wide range of attacks at full force. His physical strength it is in a league of its own, and it's a difficult boss to defeat even with Adol and Karja's mana. Uh, this one is, according to the official uh, blog update, probably one of the toughest bosses in the game and one of those in bus rolls mode uh, whenever you're again to fight them that it will be powered up and it will be able to do a little bit more traditional damage that you might have expected one of the more interesting bosses that they have here though is the infinitely glutinous worm magna diga this is a giant creature covered in hard shell who inhabits a certain region of obelia bay it eats up all sorts of garbage such as debris from timbered scattered around their area and it uses this as its means to attack as well as crushed and mows down its opponents with its huge body and inflicts fatal blows. Since it forces you to fight in a bowl-shaped terrain, utilizing Manatide is essentially 
its way to victory. So this is going to be one of those bosses that not only uses a lot of AOE attacks, but it's going to be one of those that you're probably going to be need to be prepared fully on as you're using your surfer blade to be able to carry it out and be able to dish it uh, as much damage as you could possibly do. Another one of the bosses that you talk about here is the Black Heart and Demon Bird or Cupet. This is an eerie bird like Grieger who attacks his prey from the fog. Its feminine screeches confuses the listeners and its song is set to curse its opponents. The three creatures cooperate on these high speed attacks from the skies so it's necessary to fight while switching between automatic and evasion in solo mode and guard in combination mode. This is one of those uh, monsters that is kind of like multiple ones all at once. So focusing on one and killing it is not really going to work. You're going to need to bring down all three of them around the same time. They do have a timer type of situation. So you want to whittle each one down. Essentially what that means is that all three of them are going to be up essentially throughout the entire fight. And then you try to kill them all around the same time. I believe they mentioned it was about 10 to 15 seconds for you to be able to kill all three of them. Otherwise, they'll just re regenerate their health and you have to re-engage with them again. So... Probably you're not going to be able to survive that all that long. Lastly, one of the monsters that you talk about here, one of the bosses that they mention here, is the cunning side of beast Blob Julian, a parasite like Grieger who looks like a jellyfish. He tries to finish off his prey after weakening them with poison paralysis attacks. While it's not very agile in and of itself, its behavioral patterns are difficult to decipher as it sometimes splits into countless smaller Griegers and it causes chaos for its opponents. So this one is another one that it kind of like splits off into multiple different versions of itself. But thankfully this time around, the smaller versions are not necessarily going to be replenishing. All you need to make, uh, make sure you do is just take care of the ads uh, whenever you're fighting it and you should be able to kind of finish it off. Um, so that's pretty much the five bosses they talk about when it comes to the time attack mode and the boss rush mode as well. It's a couple of screenshots I'm going to be trying to overlay here uh, for you guys to be able to enjoy as this game is pretty much right around its release window. And I'm very excited to see more of it as I'm hopefully going to be trying to review it here on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, but as of right now. Um, you know, I don't necessarily have the review copy, so um, hopefully as we get closer to launch, I'll be able to get my hands on that. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. If you are brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.